if uh, this was available to me back then, it could have been very helpful. Uh, at the time, I, I did, after some time, uh, switch from uh, just a glucose meter to using a freestyle Libre. And the amount of insight there was huge, which is why I have a video that says, uh, how, when should I get a CGM? As soon as possible, which I know is actually a controversial thing. I got some downvotes on that video, but a uh, CGM gives you so much insight into your own body that if you have diabetes or you might have diabetes, you have a pancreas that's struggling, you have uh, maybe you have mood swings that might be connected with blood sugar, you get really shaky, you don't feel good, you're irritable having a CGM can give you so much information about how your body's doing, and then you can make changes with your diet or exercise, even uh, sleeping habits, uh, reducing stress, all of that has a big impact. This is by Abbott, the Lingo Biosensor, Glucose Biosensor, and then the Stello from Dexcom. And so I'm going to be comparing these CGMs. Um, in particular, I'm gonna compare them to how my Guardian 4 uh, sensor works uh, to see that these are these are sense these are CGMs for people that do not need insulin to manage their diabetes, which in the very early stages of later diabetes is also is often the case. 